Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and <clears throat> today we're continuing uh, AP Calculus, and we're looking at the 2016 exam. So um, let's get into the free response questions. Oh, I'm looking at starting with the wrong one. Let's go to <clears throat> the first one. So this one requires a graphing calculator. I haven't really solved my graphing calculator issue yet, um, but I will uh, try to find some kind of graphing calculator to show how to do these problems. But water is pumped into a tank at a rate modeled by this. So it's rate, it's liters per hour, where T is measured in hours. Water is removed from the tank modeled by R of T in liters per hour, where R of T is differentiable and decreasing. Selected values of R of T are shown in the table. At time t equals zero, there are 50,000 liters of water in the tank. Estimate the derivative uh, of r at 2. Show the work that leads to your answer and get units of measure. Okay, first one's pretty easy. So this is r of t, and I want to find the derivative at 2. And so I'm going to estimate it like 2 is <clears throat> for t is between 1 and 3. So I'm going to use the secant line slope. I'm going to say r of 2 is approximately equal to this slope over 3 minus 1, right? This is a slope, and this is also a slope, right? It's the change in y over the change in x. And so that's how I'm estimating it. And that's 1190 minus 950 over 3 minus 1. This one I don't need a graphing calculator for. I can just compute it with 1190 minus 950 divided by 2, 120. 120 and the units are liters per hour per hour or we can say liters per hour squared okay use the left Riemann sum with the four sub intervals indicated by the table to estimate the total amount of water removed from the tank during the eight hours is this an overestimate or an under or underestimate Okay, so we're using a left Riemann sum. The left points would be 0, 1, 3, and 6, right? And then there's there's four subintervals. The interval is 0 to 1, 1 to 3, 3 to 6, and 6 to 8. And I use this height. So my, um, my sum, my Riemann sum looks like um, 1340. The height times this width times 1 minus 0 plus 1190 times 3 minus 1 plus 950 times 6 minus 3 plus 740 times 8 minus 6 okay and basically this is the height of the rectangle and this is the width of the rectangle okay like if I were to plot this data for example uh, 0 1340 it would look kind of like this Right, it'd be like this curve, and we're 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 doing these these rectangles. Now all the rectangles have different width because this is zero, one, three, six, eight, and so we're doing the width of each rectangle times the height of each rectangle. Okay, so I can do this on a simple calculator: thirteen forty plus eleven ninety times. Oh, whoops. 40 plus 1190 times 2 plus 950 times 3 plus 740 times 2 I get 8050 and the units are liters per hour times hour like each one of these this is liters per hour times hours so that's liters and this is if I look from my picture this is an overestimate And it's always, a left hand is always an overestimate when it's decreasing. Because R of T is decreasing. Okay. Let's look at C. Use your answer from part B to estimate the total amount of water in the tank to the nearest liter at the end of eight hours. Okay. So you got to think of my tank. I have W of T pumping in and then R of T pumping out. Right, and over the eight hours, it's really 
50 so the the, the water volume would be 50,000 because that's what we start with minus how much we pumped out plus how much we pumped in and how much we pumped in is is the integral of the rate that I pumped in water from 0 to 8 w of t dt okay so this is the only piece that I'm missing and that is what I have to use a calculator for well, actually, I don't even use a calculator for this one. I'm going to do this one by hand. And I will, because um, just to show you, this is not infinity. This is 0 to 8. 0 to 8, um, 2,000 e to the minus t squared. Oh, actually, no, you can't do this one by hand. Sorry, I didn't see the t squared part when I was first glancing. So let me pull up my trusty integral calculator, although it didn't work for me last time, so I'm I'm skeptical that I'll get this to work, but we will try it. 2,000 times e to the minus x squared over 20, and we're gonna integrate from zero to eight. And let me just check, zero to eight, at the end of eight hours, okay. Um, so a graphing calculator, you need to know how to, to enter an integral into your graphing calculator. And like I said, the tricky part is there's so many different calculators. They're always they're, they're very similar, but they're always very a little bit different. So I find this part to be equal 7836 liters. Okay, so what I get is when I put this all together, I get 50, 1, 2, 3, minus 850, plus 7836, I get 49786 liters. Okay, and then um, part D, running out of room, but I'll try to squeeze it in here. Part D, for 0 less than or equal to t less than or equal to a, is there a time t when the rate at which the water pumped into the tank is the same rate at which the water is removed from the tank? Is there a time when the rate? OK. Um, so we want to know, like, for this rate, is it ever, like, it, it, the, the way you would think of it is if it's ever above R of T and then below R of T, then it must have crossed through R of T, right? So that that would make it equal by um, um, intermediate value theorem. So let's look at like let's look at the table for W of zero. So let's let's fill in this table for W. W of zero is two thousand. I just plug in zero. W of one is two thousand. Clear this. Um, where is e to the x? Does that have no? Okay, I'm gonna use a regular calculator. I don't know where e is on this one. So 2,000 e to the negative one over 20 is 1902. minus 9 divided by 20 is 1275 8 9 8 or not 69 9 that doesn't really matter 8 squared is 60 oh wait no that was supposed to be 6 6 36 my bad yeah this is 30 330 and then for good measure, we'll do minus 64, and I get to about 81. Okay, so so see what happens is W of T is larger than W R of T at the beginning, but it passes through and goes below R of T, so yes. <clears throat> you can consider R of, oh sorry, W of T minus R of T is greater than zero at T equals zero and w of t is minus r of t is less than zero at t equals eight. Hence, by the intermediate value theorem, there must be some t where w of t 
eek minus r of t equals zero, which implies w of t equals r of t. Okay. So let's see, I don't have the answers up, so let's take a look. On. What's the first one? Negative. Negative. Oh, did I? Oh, yeah, you're right. It is negative. I don't know why I screwed this. Up. So this is being negative. So I, I lose a point for at least having the estimate wrong. I don't know why I didn't realize it was negative. 8,050. Then this 49768 eight, or 786. That's right. Uh, and I explained by the intermediate value theorem guarantees that um, W of t equals R of t. Okay, so mostly right. I don't know why I, I, I did it backwards. I was always thinking as a, I knew it was negative, but I, I don't know, I just, R, I, I even plugged in R of three should have been 950 and R of one should have been 1190. I swapped the digits just implicitly, but um, okay. Well, um, thanks for watching. Hopefully, guys, you guys found that helpful. Uh, please leave a comment, like, or subscribe, and I'll see you in free response question number two. Thanks. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I just want to let you know that I offer free homework help on Twitch or Discord. So uh, just stop on by if you have any homework questions or you just want to learn about different parts of math and physics and hang out. Hope to see you there.